Okay, so here you can see the sidecar crib. I've moved all the pillows and comforters aside so that you can see it a little bit more clearly. Um, at the end here where there's a space, I filled it with an end table. I use this to keep all my baby supplies, lotions, diapers, things like that. I'm going to get a little bit more close up so that you can see the mattress here is pretty much level. Um, there's a little bit of a dent due to the fact that I have a high pillow top mattress. I previously had a flat, a more flat um, mattress and this uh, connection here where the crib mattress and the king size mattress came together was perfect. There was absolutely no dent. Um, this little dent I have now doesn't really bother me. It's not it's not big enough to interfere with nursing or anything like that, so I don't really have to worry about that. But um, so it just really depends on what type of bed mattress you have as to that. You can see from this angle. I've taken the side of the bed that slides up and down off, and then you move the crib mattress over towards your bed. And then you need something to fill this gap so that the crib mattress, there's no way it can separate from your bed. Now what you fill this with depends on your situation. I have it filled with actually just a body pillow. Um, this is because when I built this, my son was already well over a year old. I didn't have to worry about soft surfaces. Um, for infants, it'd be best to use um, thick foam blocks. You can buy them at the craft stores, and they're um, usually what you use to put stick flowers in. But um, those provide a great flat, hard surface that will keep this mattress flush up against your bed. So you don't have to worry about soft surfaces or the mattress moving. I'm going to go ahead and take the crib mattress off so you can see how this is made. I've used thick, strong bungee cords. They're attached here on one side to the, the crib spring and they wrap all the way around. And on this side, let's see if I can get a good angle, they're attached to my bed frame. Um, I have a really thick, nice wood bed frame. It's pretty strong and sturdy. So I'm going to tuck this in so you can see it a little bit better. So I have two of these bungee cords, one here and one at the top. And basically, if you try and separate this crib from my bed, there's going to be no way. It, there's no way it can move at all. These bungee cords keep it pretty strongly attached. Now, if you don't have a thick wood board like I, sideboard like I do, you can. I've seen it done where they've run the bungee cord underneath, attach it to this side of the crib, between the mattress and the box spring, and then all the way to the other end and connected it to the handle of the mattress on the side. Um, so that's an option if you don't have a thick, sturdy sideboard like I do. Now, when you, you're going to want to move your crib springs up to the highest setting, most likely, depending on your bed height. Here you can see it has several settings. If your crib spring doesn't move up high enough, you can place uh, folded blankets underneath the crib mattress to bring that mattress up to level with your bed mattress. So you just need it to come level. Um, how you do that depends on your bed, it depends on your crib. Uh, mine happened to come up high enough that it meets without anything, but I've seen people fold blankets and put them underneath the crib mattress to kind of build that mattress up. I've seen that done before. Um, so, just depends on, you know, what type of bed and what type of crib you have. 
but it's a pretty simple concept really and we enjoy it. It gives us, go ahead and put this mattress back on without the, without the body pillow so that we can see it again. See, now if you didn't have anything to fill that gap, you'd have to worry about this mattress sliding over, which is why you want something pretty good to fill that gap. Um, I'll go ahead and leave it without the filler just so we can see it one more time. So it's pretty simple and we enjoy it. It gives us a lot of space that we wouldn't have. Basically my son can sleep in there and probably another if we had a second could sleep in there as well. Um, so that's it.